It's finally fall season, so today let's make roasted pumpkin soup. Let's start with preheating the oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Now take your butternut squash and split it in half. For this recipe, you're going to need only half of it, so put the other half aside. Split the butternut squash again and scoop the insides out. After that, cut it into medium-sized pieces and put them in the baking dish. Don't be alarmed, you're going to get rid of the pumpkin skin later. Next, peel 3 carrots. Of course, cut up the edges. And then simply divide them into medium-sized pieces as well. Put them in the baking tray. Peel one big onion and dice it into smaller pieces. The reason why I suggest dicing the onion into smaller pieces is because that way it gets roasted more and the flavor of the roasted onion adds so much to the soup. Also, peel 5 or 6 cloves of garlic and add it to the baking dish. Now, take a little twig of fresh oregano, mince it a bit and add to the same dish as everything else. Before roasting, you're going to cover the vegetables with half a cup of olive oil, 2 teaspoons of salt and 2 teaspoons of pepper. Mix it well with your hands so every piece of veggie is coated with oil and spices. And set it in the oven for 40 minutes. Meanwhile, let's peel one big potato or a few smaller ones. And cut them into larger pieces. Now take two bay leaves. and season 1 liter of chicken stock with them. Once the chicken stock starts boiling, add your potatoes in there and cook for about 15 minutes. After 40 minutes, take your veggies out of the oven. Now taking one butternut squash piece by one, scoop the pumpkin meat from the skin and put it in the pot with the potatoes. Add the rest of the roasted vegetables to the pot. Mix them together and boil for 5 more minutes. Time for blending! Take out your mixer and blend everything until no big pieces are visible. Last step, add 100 ml of heavy cream and mix it together. And the roasted pumpkin soup is done! I like to add some chili peppers to my soup before eating it for spiciness, a splash of olive oil and a bit of grated mozzarella cheese.
So for me, this is the best pumpkin soup ever. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.